Welcome back to my channel. We're going to be checking out Baki Beyond Scared Straight by CJ the Champ. It is Lokita. You could follow me at 2 R I S K I E number 2 um on TikTok and on Twitch. I'm going to be going live on Twitch later. So Hey guys, my name is Brinique. You can follow me on all platforms at B R I A N I Q U E. I'm going to do a squat. Okay. All right. Y'all see the outfit of the day? Okay, it says baby on there. Okay, baby girl, baby girl. Ooh. Okay. Hey, she's like fit, yo. Something calm, something calm for me. Hey. Everybody, this is your girl Lexi. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Lexi Lady Four. I should be having no fits on, y'all. Y'all gotta watch out for her. She be having no fits on. It's just the dress. I can't get all of it. Guys, I'm Saint Harper. You can follow me at Saint Harper on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. Guys, my name is Marisol, and you guys can follow me on TikTok and IG at Marisol Acosta. And my name is Estrella Bella. You can follow me at underscore Estrella Bella double A. We got a tip check. Okay. This is it. Okay. Video on the TV, and is this nigga at his house? God, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful. Hey, Look at his face right now. Up? You know he's like, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the <laughs> NTR. <laughs> that's disrespectful. Smashing my own wife. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ooh, be psychic. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a very special video because, uh, you see, we're going to jail. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Actually, not even jail. We're going to maximum security prison because our boy Baki done got locked up. <laughs> so, yeah, today we're going to be taking Ooh, a tour fine. of the Air Force State Prison because, goddamn, this place reeks of Black Air Force energy because some of these niggas are the definition of built different. But, ladies and gentlemen, Please sit back and relax as we dive into the Arizona State Prison as we will observe pure ignorance, nigga like that, and He's the art of pulling like hands on this special programming of... Ooh, pretty boy. Yeah, straight. <laughs> All right, y'all, so before we get into the prison, we got to understand, uh, how the hell this nigga Baki even get locked up in the first place? I thought he was a kind little soul, but apparently he's a menace. Shit, he gonna end up just like his father. Speaking of his father, at the beginning of the season, there's a press conference going on because the African army was fighting a ginormous oversized African elephant that was terrorizing the entire savannah. And this guy right here is the sole survivor. So these reporters are wondering, okay, bro, you're the sole survivor, so how the hell did y'all kill the damn thing? And this nigga's like, shit, it wasn't us. It was a nigga that killed that shit. A man in all black. Damn, up here all and killed face. that <laughs> fat ass oversized <laughs> elephant with his bare hands. Man, this man killed the elephant with his bare hands. That man is crazy, bro. You gotta be so yeah. Shy. That's an elephant, though. Like, right? yeah. hmm. I love it. I love elephants, man. So I'm me too. Sure. It's like they're mad nice. They see us as like puppies. Dang, they see us as puppies. Gonna, That's crazy. Uh, yeah, they say that when elephants <laughs> look at us, like they they see us the same way we see puppies. Like they they like produce serotonin when they look at us wow wow hey put in a conversation if you knew that because i didn't know that <laughs> This yeah, I'd be knowing little weird facts that like shit. that. Bro, I don't know what this man Yujiro is at this point. Now he's out here killing oversized African elephants, and then he ate the nigga. What? This man dead ass yeah. ate a whole ass year's worth of protein. And then look at her smart ass with her Karen ass cut. Do you expect us mm. to believe this? Bitch, you better believe it before he come for your ass next. So then dude gets up and he's like, look, I stated the facts. I'm done talking to y'all niggas. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. If I was in his situation, I would do the same damn thing. Like if I I saw a nigga kill an African elephant with his bare hands. What the That's fuck am crazy. I supposed to tell you? Yeah, man, I saw a nigga kill a fat ass <laughs> elephant the other day with That's his bare soul. hands. You gonna look at me like this nigga dumb? But in the Baki universe, shit, I believe anything. <laughs> so now we cut to this little kid getting bullied, and they're like, "Hey, little nigga, uh, go in there in that high school right there and go fight the biggest nigga you can find." So then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas that do not look like high schoolers at all, like Jesus Christ. <laughs> and like, they at least push it through. Oh, so then his little flimsy ass pulls out the shank, and then they just start laughing at the nigga. So then he's trying to talk to him, but they like, "Say it with your chest, nigga." So bro is shitting bricks right now, but he's like. <laughs> Please, please, don't destroy this guy. So they like, oh, 
you looking for that big nigga. So then they cut outside to the kids, and the kids are like, I right, bruh. They said, after school, I got to go to the Tama River. Big homie said, they'll bring the strongest high schooler in the world to you. Just don't be a bitch. And of course, these little <laughs> badass baby ass kids laughing and shit. Oh, but they ain't going to be laughing soon. So they go to the river, and there he is. Son to the biggest menace on planet Earth. And look at them little badass oh. kids running like some bitches. Next. So then little homie pull up the knife, Bucky like. So well, he's like, so sexy. <laughs> he don't stand a chance. He don't, man. Look how big that man. Why would he put out that little knife? Like that's gonna Look at be his so thighs. Right? Eyes right. like that is a wrap. Let's call it quits. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta call it quits. It's so it's and is dead mm -hmm. serious, ready to run the ones with a child. And look at little homie. He's like, oh my god, this nigga's dead serious. This nigga's dead serious. I ain't going home to mama today. So then Baki asks, Whoa, him, look at his you swim? Oh. He's like, uh, a little. Then Baki's like, bet. So bro, flash steps. Imprinted his what? hand on his ass. Oh. <laughs> he flew. His oh, finger. No. That's how you know you strong. You leaving a handprint like that through pants, not like bare butt through pants, bro. What through shorts? That's crazy. <laughs> that is wild. It made bro skip on water. Yo, he really hit that kid. Ooh, the like a skip the rock. So then he yeah. skip the rocks. The kid. But then Yujiro's personal chauffeur, Stridum, comes out of nowhere. So then he's like, hey, you know your dad did just kill like an African elephant the size of a dinosaur, right? So that means uh, he accepted your challenge. So it looks like Baki and Yujiro are going to go at it for round two. Hopefully you don't go like round one. <laughs> So Stratum's like, all right, how you gonna Ooh. respond? And Baki just starts yawning. He's like, it's all good, bro. It's just a father-son fight. But Stratum's like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. So Baki's like, all right, bro, I gotta find a way out of train. So then he starts shadow boxing a ghost of Mike Tyson. Stand like that. And he's Mike Tyson. Tyson. <laughs> Yo, what the? You do like Mike Tyson. What's <laughs> going on right now? That's Bro is fire. fighting a ghost of Mike Tyson and is taking damage. Oh, but now nah, we didn't think he could get even crazier, right? Oh. This man starts fighting a praying mantis. What? what in the fuck? He's fighting <laughs> mantis from Kung Fu Panda. I, you, you, I, 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 I just don't question anything anymore in this show. That looks so, so creepy, now we bro. we cut to America. And yeah. They got this parade going on and we got President. Bosh? Yo, yo, this nigga Bush. So while the parade is going on, they end up losing the signal. And that nigga Bush is gone. Because this man Baki just straight snatched that nigga. Dang, he stole Bush. Damn, Secret Service, y'all niggas ass. That nigga get fired. You basically let a damn child take the fucking president. Shit, it won't see my ass running from- Yeah, they for sure nigga get fired. You should never let nobody touch your president. Y'all gotta lose y'all jobs, though. That's crazy. For real. Mm -hmm. Goddamn uh, president anytime soon if this is my goddamn secret service. So Baki ends up having tea with this nigga and Bush like, uh, you realize that you just kidnapped the president of the US of A, my nigga, right? And Baki like, hell yeah, I know. Shit, I meant wow. to get caught. So Bush I asks what caught. is Baki's demands and I need to see this anime. Says the US Arizona <laughs> State Prison? Yeah, lock me up, nigga. Is this nigga serious? This man, He's kind of good. You kidnapped me. So you yeah. can get locked up to fight this nigga biscuit and you don't want Just no money or no bitches. Yeah. He's the weakest ass demands I've ever heard. Yo, this man Baki is really taking hey. turning guards to another level. This man said, fuck a hyperbolic time chamber, nigga. I'm going to prison. So our boy Baki gets arrested. He gets locked up. The nigga's guilty. That nigga is guilty. And he gets incarcerated into the Arizona to State Prison. <laughs> He's crazy for that one. Mm -hmm. so Baki goes into the warden's office and speaks with the warden. And man's is like, I heard about you, boy. Heard you wanted to fight that nigga Biscuit, Mr. Unchained. <laughs> heard about you. The reason this <laughs> the man biscuit. is called Unchained is because he can leave the prison oh, whenever no. the hell he wants to. So basically, <laughs> and yo, you like that? You like that Mike Tyson looking dude? His abs, though? <laughs> you like a buff cop. You the same smile, too. <laughs> Look at the treatment <laughs> this nigga is getting in prison. I mean, look at this Same big smile and a hairline. 
So Baki wants to run the hands with Biscuit, but Biscuit explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 other niggas that want to run the hands with me. Nigga, you just a rookie. That's a nice Baki prison. decides, you know what, the ranking system, nigga. I just want to throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the Ooh. face, but Ooh. he ate that shit for breakfast, nigga. Look at him. Relax, yo, you bud. Don't catch me with coming that off. weak shit. So Baki <laughs> gets into his cell and apparently the second strongest person in the prison is in that same cell. So as he enters the cell, he sees his first cellmate and it's Iron Michael. Uh -oh. oh my God, nigga, that's Mike Tyson. So Baki asks uh -huh. Mike, hey, yo, I know you gotta be number two, <laughs> nigga. You Mike Tyson. But this man Mike says, nah, I ain't even in the top 10. Hey, right, hold up. Wait a damn minute. So, uh, this nigga Mike Tyson ain't even in the top 10. Yo, what type of monsters, fucking fiends, you got locked up in this bitch? Nigga, what the fuck oh, is no, this? Bro, Arkham? Who y'all got locked up here? Fucking Clayface? Killer Croc? Nigga Bane down there or some shit? Hell, they might have Joker in solitary confinement. <laughs> so then they wake up next morning and it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch ass nigga gotta be like 7 7. And Baki thinks, that, okay, this gotta be number two. Nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and says, Hey, yo, second, wake the f up. So Check this out. nigga comes out the casket uh -oh. like Vincent Valentine. And he's like, Hey, yo, what's good, my boy? And I'm like, Did this nigga just come out the locker? No, oh. no, nah, nah, nah. Did he sleep in the locker? Oh, nah, this man different. He was but then he's got the light hey, skin room. The, the light skin room for sure. And this man he's says, eyes. I'm a warrior. He's got the light skin face right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Kind of warrior. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to really think <laughs> really hard about this. This nigga is in prison and said that I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you of a very notorious prisoner that said this shit before? I tell him like this here. I like you. And I want Boom you. Boom dies. <laughs> That's, That's what I was thinking about. I'm kind a of warrior. <laughs> hey, who's seen that episode? That episode was insane for the people who watched it. I love the Boondocks. I watched it mad times. We got to check out Boondocks together, y'all, because that is crazy. I love the Boondocks. Like, I yeah. love it. The charge is yours. I'm a warrior, too. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no fucking way this shit is actually happening right now. This nigga's a booty warrior. <laughs> Man, he a booty warrior. Oh, he's taking people booty, though. That's oh, nigga, you oh, not no. drop the soap. So while they're lining him up and explaining the rules of the prison, this man, Gavar, is doing whatever the hell he want to. Man, smoking a whole sick while he's giving a whole debrief. So then he goes over and asks Mike, he hey, fire yo, like that. Uh -huh. And Mike tells him pork and beans, but he can't talk, so he gets so sucked by the police oh, nigga, officer. Bro, he dead ass made this man get sucked. Because Gavar would have beat his ass if he didn't say shit. Damn, so that light skin power. Light no, oh, oh light my power. gosh, bro. <laughs> that is so fucked. So, yeah, Gavar, a.k.a. the second coming of the booty warrior, is a different breed of human. Like, bro, what is he doing to this spoon right now? So, this big oh. man tried to fight him, but it, it, it did not go so well for this nigga. <laughs> Look how disrespectful this gun? is. He grabs uh -oh. an officer's gun. Puts it in his hands and he's like, all right, hold on tight. Make sure to shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga. But right see. before he oh, no. the trigger, he cocks through it. He set him up. Oh, my he God. Thought he was gonna get him. And that nigga's decommissioned. Ooh. So after he kicked the dude in the dick, he's like, hey, yo, guards, uh, I want an after school exercise with this nigga. So they have a sumo match. And bro, this man can't even pick him up. Veggies. So then he <laughs> a piece of his hair, sticks it in his ear, and it literally killed his eardrums what? so dude fell over and it was wraps so after oh. Gavar leaves the officer comes over to big boy and he's like hey yo uh why are you up in here alone i know you see that sign you blind motherfucker so then he pops dude Ooh. in the back of the head that's crazy Ooh. he lost his hair and then he got shot in his head that was a setup he knew what he was doing he didn't even want yeah. like, i don't need to kill you i'm gonna let the officer do dang mm -hmm. that was a double wow. whammy wow Damn, how he got the pull yeah, like says, that, though? Yeah, I, I warned him. No, no, you smoked that nigga with no warning. So Guevara comes back to the lunchroom, and while everybody's leaving, Baki tries to talk to Guevara, but the cop comes in and starts swinging. But he ate that shit and grabbed his baton. Ayo. Hey, <laughs> this nigga does the same shit he did with the spoon. Yo, when did Baki graduate like from Shit Talking University? Boy, got the Shit Talk, Shit Talk, no me. So Baki gets put in solitary confinement in this 
very uncomfortable position. Jesus Christ. I can feel his dislocated like shoulder his from here. Nice. Oh, yeah. I gotta hurt. Mars backstory. Mm -hmm. This man has made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cabinet. Goddamn Secret Service, you've done it again. So dude plays this video <laughs> on the TV and is this nigga at his house? God, that's a nigga's <laughs> wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful yeah, as shit. Disrespectful. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I didn't know this wow. nigga Bush was in the NTR. <laughs> but hey, yo, for real though, this gotta be like the biggest cuck move in like anime history besides, well, you know, you know what scene I'm talking about, but we ain't talking about that shit here today. That shit is forbidden. But yeah, this man beat the fuck out of his entire security force and took a whole tour of his house. That's uh -uh, foul. Bro, that, 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 that's one of the most disrespectful moments I've ever seen. So later on, the warden is talking about taking out Mike because they don't want him coming back to the boxing world after getting out of prison. So he gets these triplet looking niggas called the mouth. One's named the lip, the tooth, and the tongue. What the hell is this? These people who ass niggas in unison and shit? Hey, oh, yo, hell, bro. Bro. They bring over Mike here. outside and they start jumping this nigga in unison. I've never seen motherfuckers jump a nigga so precisely. So then they put Mike, Mike in a quarter and G. Hey, they beat him, Mike. They ain't playing. Damn. 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 Then they stomped him out. Oh my gosh, bro. This might be the most brutal. Bro, Ooh. they got him like in a head like stab, but that gotta be the worst pain to get jumped, though. That's yeah. Who got jumped Ooh. in here before? Any one of y'all got jumped before? No. no. Somebody, three girls try to jump me and I beat them up. They even try to record it, but then they stopped recording because I was beating their ass. And I'm so, I mean, and I'm so tiny. Yeah, man. Nice. <laughs> oh my God. I had an experience like that. Except the whole school was watching. It was just me and my friends at the time. They were just like, and I was like, y'all not about to. They, they, they ain't real friends. They too scary. Man. That, that's what it was. That was too scary. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping in anime history, and, and that man is gone, bro. But right before they about to slice his ass up, this man Gavard This man doing a roly poly roll. Rolling out <laughs> like Samus in morph ball form. So three oompa around his ass, but then he <laughs> whips out his dick and starts pissing He's on him. Oh, this nigga really just whipped out his shit and took mm -hmm. a piss <laughs> on him. Motherfucker Ooh. like I was marking my territory. This is a freaky so I'm <laughs> so confused. <laughs> There's always something with this man. <laughs> this man is a freak. He started peeing on him. That's crazy, though. It's a freaky anime. <laughs> but dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some like Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean over. type uh -oh. shit. Ooh, you get the ugly hair on. Oh, that nigga dead, bro. Send his ass to high heaven and back down to earth. And the other nigga pissed his pants. I and would too, though. I'm in the <laughs> oh, running and peeing. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga pissed his pants. Then other homie just sat in the corner. He just said, nah, G, I'm done. So later on, back at the cell while they're he chatting up. up, this big nigga biscuit busts up in the damn room and he's like, hey, yo, Gavar, we fighting tomorrow, nigga. So while they're talking, oh, the Pocky he wanted, tries though. to intervene, but he gets his <laughs> shit smacked. So then Biscuit pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine ass girlfriend's handkerchief. And apparently the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But this man, hey man weird. spits on that. <laughs> 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 yeah, this oh man is God. so damn disrespectful. So before the fight, we get to see what Biscuit's girl looks like. Well, just well, his girlfriend looks like, okay, she got sexy we lips. Don't get to see much, okay. but she has a very nasty ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him she threw the whole bottle of crown at that nigga Dang. don't get me wrong toxic. this man biscuit is she's toxic savage, for sure yo, this man mm -hmm. down bad horrendous hey, now it's a day to fight and all the prisoners are here to watch this the number one and number two are about to throw down so them biscuits coming out with this big ass bed and everybody's like hey yo no way this could actually be her we actually get to see what she looked like even here. the one is like hey yo no it's way he actually here. brought her out so we all thinking all right y'all she gotta be fine as hell she, she gotta, gotta be, be the bad, baddest bro. chick we probably ever seen <laughs> well uh oh, nah. wow. <laughs> bro oh my god <laughs> Let's see why you got to bring the whole bed with you. <laughs> what? I already know what's tight, though. She the size of the bed. 
Why everyone is so disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> she probably got the good slops and the good oh tight. My God. She, she got, she got to have it. She has to. And she, she has something because she she's really, the really, really good to him. To her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's not about looks or nothing, man. You got, if you love somebody, it doesn't matter, man. It's about what you feel in the heart, man. Oh, that's crazy. You really love her, though. you already seen how he was with her little handkerchief. Yeah, he was obsessed over there. The dude spit on it. That's crazy. She got no That's diabetes. why they fight right now. <laughs> they like, what the heck? Yeah, pretty face, though. Ain't, ain't no goddamn... My mind must be deceiving right Oh, my God. Feet is crazy. This, this I was going to say this. Like, history ass chicken. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> This gotta be the biggest <laughs> what the actual fuck moment I I've ever seen in an anime. Hey, but we could bash this nigga biscuit all we want. We could call him a big ass simp, ultra simp. But hey, hey, who gonna check that nigga though? Oh, he's not for there's always somebody, somebody for everybody. There's always somebody for everybody. Behind that mound of bloated ass chicken. Oh, 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 Loses. It's low key is the weirdest way to throw down, but it, I'm all here for it. So Kavar <laughs> socks him, but yo, this man is gripping the claw. Is he but I was about to say, is oh, oh, it's gonna be the craziest grip strength I've ever seen. So Gavar continues to tee off on Biscuit, but then he grabs his head and slaps that nigga into the ground. Ooh. While Baki's watching this, he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. So this man goes to <laughs> Biscuit's girlfriend's bed and start sleeping with her. Oh my what? god. Oh yeah. Man, he use the bed him. on top of the bed. So they just lose the handkerchief after that. Uh, he's so fighting by his girl. He's so no. pissed off. He whacks this nigga so far. He cracks so into the wall. Attention. And everybody's like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga is dead. But we all know Guevara has like some zombie mode. You no, know, the man's a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. So now they start for real swinging. Bam! Planted that nigga Ooh. like a flower. So he gets up and he ends up landing okay. a kill shot. And it seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there and, and this nigga Yujiro is here. And everybody's laughing. So he's like, wait a minute, something's wrong. And all that shit that just played out was a dream. Cause that nigga got knocked up. Out. Wow. Nigga yeah, shit out. is as straight as a board. Everybody's like, damn, he really just violated that nigga. So he picks up his mattress and takes off. His so mattress is cut away from the mattress. The, the president is driving. But yo, you're like, wait a minute. Why is the president driving? And then you see this nigga, Yujiro, oh. is in the back. You got him driving. Seat. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, this nigga dead ass made the president Wait, his really everything. So after the fight, the second coming of the booty warrior just left. So yeah, this man Gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch. So now we go to the next morning and it's time for roll call. And while the CEO is talking, this man Baki says, uh, excuse me, uh, can I go take a step outside? And everybody like, I know this nigga is not talking right now. But Baki said, fuck it. So I blocked that nigga Ooh. and do the stage in the whole prison break. Man is out here dodging bullets and just dropping all the guards like it's nothing. So Baki gets outside, but he's surrounded. Ooh. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bro, uh, what the fuck you think you're doing? You really think you about to escape this shit? Baki says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking dude's glasses in a flash. Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And all the guards surrounding him, holding him up at gunpoint. Yeah, he took their butt. Buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So he tells the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out, and right as he gets outside of the prison, he's like, okay, y'all can take me back now. <laughs> Dog, that what? is embarrassing. He had. How do you escape prison and then you say you could take me back, bro? Like, they That's went. Crazy. Yeah, you know why. Went. You know why. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he misses it. Six <laughs> niggas holding him up at gunpoint and made them all his bitch and straight up walked out the prison. So then Biscuit pulls up and Biscuit dude is back. actually offended by this. Uh -huh. so dude tells the warden to take off his cuss because he wants to run the hands with him right now. But this, said, yo, me now. this man it. Baki started talking so much shit. This nigga said, grab some food and try again. Oh, yo! Yo! Everybody like, hey, yo, this nigga did not just say that shit. And yo, this man is 
this. He's like, I know this little nigga's not talking all this shit right now. So after that, Baki just leaves, but he gets thrown in <laughs> solitary confinement. So while he's in solitary confinement, Biscuit comes in his oh, cell, no. starts talking shit to him, then he whips out his shit nah, and pisses that. on him. Nah. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Damn. Oh, no. Ew. That's crazy. Everybody just R. like, Kelly's this is a freaky on. anime. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think this is not really an anime. Like, all the way, I'm not going to hold you. I'm thinking it's um, Yuri. <laughs> Everybody just love Pino. Yo, people. what is up with niggas pissing on me? <laughs> that might be one of the most disrespectful things I have ever seen. He took a whole leak on that nigga. But after that, Baki just starts laughing at his ass. You like, damn nigga, you a bitch. You gotta piss on a nigga that's chained up. Damn, that's sad, bro. So later on, Biscuit comes so back happy, to the show and he's like, all right, we gonna fight in two weeks. So Baki's like, nah, fuck that. We fighting right here, right he now. Do this. Kicks dude in his Ooh. face. So Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the f out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass wall. So then he busts out the tuxedo and he's like, all right, little boy, I'm about to beat your ass. So Baki tries to punch him in the gut, but he grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. Then he swung him like a Ooh. towel and speared him through like five of his cells. Then dogs Ooh. just beat the hell out of him. Yo, this man is holding him like a toy and just eating all that, bro. And just threw him like a rag doll across the floor. But then you see Baki spring up and there it is. That damn <laughs> demon bag. That That's what demon bag. Biscuit knew. That plot on mm -hmm. about to kick it real nice. So he right. ended up flipping him over and you couldn't even see it. The warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. So then Biscuit decided mm. to get in morph ball form. Yo, what is up with niggas mimicking Samus in this? So Baki throws a punch, but he blocks <laughs> it and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some Pac-Man type shit. So then he spits him out and then tries to do it again. But Baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose Ooh. and bro is having the nose bleed of a lifetime. So then they face off and Baki's just ready to throw the hands at this point. Straight up one on one fist fight, no holds barred. So they just start blasting, going for punch for punch over and over and over again. But Baki ends up pushing him back in the nigga rocks. Damn, he them. really did that shit. Bro knocked him out cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Her old fee fa fo ass. <laughs> so Biscuit picks up his matches and leaves the battlefield. And our boy Baki is Aww, a free man. So at so the cute. end of the season, Yujiro figures out that Baki beat Unchained. And if now he Baki wanted is to, the he biggest would. threat to him. But at the end, we see this dude stuck in <laughs> Remember ice. that. Now, I don't know who exactly this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something to do with... Forgot the pickle! <laughs> yeah, that was Baki Beyond Scared Straight. And that concludes our tour of the Arizona State Prison. Oh, but nigga, you think we done with prison? <laughs> nah, because we're going to Green Dolphin Street next. Because it's getting real spicy right. up in there. Hey, guys, uh -oh. check that one out. That one is crazy. My brother said quick, that so, uh, she reminds him of me or something. Oh, yeah, she's insane, though. Y'all got to check that one out. He was like, you would like her. Every time somebody says that about an anime character, I already know what they're trying to say. Yeah, she's a <laughs> savage, though. Man, that man, uh, Biscuit, he put up a fight for his woman, his matrix. He did not play, though, mm -hmm. at all. What can you <laughs> say about... That's so cute. I like that. The anime mm -hmm. was insane, though. What can y'all say about this number one? What can you say about this video, number one? Honestly, this is going to sound really nerdy, but I really loved like how the creator of the video, I don't know, the YouTuber, he put a lot of like video game references and the music he put in the background was like my favorite part of the video, like more than the anime. But it was a very funny video. I loved it a lot. Uh, number two. To add on to that, I really liked it. It was funny. It had me dying the whole time. Uh, number three. I liked it. It was funny to me. The commentary, the little comments that they put in there. I thought the the names that he chose for these characters was kind of funny. Like Biscuit, it was <laughs> like, I mean, to me. It was like, wh why was it a lot of peeing? And the the way that they was fighting was a lot different from a lot of animes. I say, yeah, it was different. <laughs> that was that prison fighting. That's what it was. That prison. <laughs> hey, peeing on people in prison is crazy though. That's Wait, what, what anime is that? I don't know what anime is it. Put it in the comment section if you guys know in the comments, man. Uh, number four. 
Um, I thought it was interesting. It was funny, but I was really like shocked that the guy's girlfriend was like as big as a mattress. It was just funny. Yeah, she was big, man. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Well, I like it a lot. All the fighting scenes were like really cool, uh, you know, perfect bodies of these guys, you know, always entertaining us. <laughs> but uh, I really like the, you know, the whole how he was treating her, and besides, you know, looks and all that stuff. And what is she doing to keep him acting like that? <laughs> y'all ladies probably need to take notes. Like, you know, we y'all do. Y'all all look good, but I'm just saying, if y'all ever got to a point in your life like that, y'all probably need to take notes, you know. I'm not gonna lie, big girls, they got some good really yeah. tight yeah. stuff. Tight uh shoelaces. They got tight shoelaces, <laughs> we can say. Yeah. You know, the ones that you can fit your shoes and your feet in very easily. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> number <laughs> number six, what can you say? I feel like it gave me a lot of like nostalgia from like when I was younger with that Boondocks show. No. And I was just dead like the whole time. And then I thought his girl was going to be a baddie. And then the fact that they kept referring to her as a mattress is crazy. <laughs> hey, man, that's just, I would, that would hurt my feelings. Somebody call me a mattress, though. Come on, man. She a baddie to me. <laughs> she had a pretty face, though. It just like. She yeah. a baddie to me. Like, I don't hey. discriminate on this side. Yeah. She and thick. she did have a pretty face. She was thick, though. That's what we call a thick. She was a thick baddie. But yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe, man. I love you guys. Hey, ladies, y'all got anything I want to say? Kissies or blow it at the audience? Hey, they kiss y'all, man. Make, yeah, sure make sure you, you subscribe. Subscribe and go follow make all sure of them. Make sure you subscribe. Uh-huh. Follow mm -hmm. all of them. Hey, got... come back for more videos, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Follow them on <laughs> YouTube. Follow them on uh, TikTok, Instagram. All their social medias are in the description, y'all. Don't be scared of DM them. Do whatever y'all want, man. DM them. Go follow them. I don't care. Do what y'all want. You know, you might get found your wife. It's probably in here. I don't know. But, hey, go do what you got to do. Love y'all. See you next video.